Hello. And what today, yesterday was, I did not record a single thing because I was doing my pre-learning training thing. That was a whole day of um, just sat in front of the laptop. So nothing particularly interesting going on in here. So now I was going around and I'm going, I'm like, John's like, do you want me to help move your solar panel? And I'm like, no. Oh, I need to eat some food. <laughs> Hungry strikes again. I've got some really good comments off the video. Um, it's not what you say, it's the way you say it. And uh, and I've had people saying, I know, I will come up and see you if I see you in um, uh, the NEC or anywhere else, but I'll just make sure you've eaten first. <laughs> I mean, the hunger is real, but generally, um, generally people, other people can't see it. I think John gets that special privilege because he's my comfort zone, isn't he? Um, but yes, anyway, the hungry is here this morning, so I've got my air fryer on air fryer i am going to make myself a bit i've got bacon in there with some cheese on i'm just gonna have a quick bacon sanger and then i'm gonna sit down and crack on with some other bits of stuff i surprised one of my customers today because i was uh, messaging on a saturday and i never do that because I, I i i respect everybody's need for a weekend so um and i'm like oh oh no um because it's just so much stuff so i'll get cracking with the stuff i need to do but yeah it's been uh, it's been a funny old thing and then uh, it's saturday and the NEC starts on Tuesday, so um, we've got to get down there and get all set up. Um, I say get all set up, uh, find a pub stop. I'm gonna head down there and get a few days in there before my training starts proper. Um, but that will be our little finale for the year. I think there'll be no shows or anything after that. It's like either nothing is planned or everything is planned and nothing seems to be working. But I think I only notice it because I make videos. If I wasn't making videos, I don't think I'd notice the chopping and changing. It's just that I keep going back and editing and going, oh, I said I was going to do this, but I never ended up doing it. It's all going to be good. You know what that means? It's going to be good fun, and I'm going to go get my bacon butty. This is why we like to do bacon in the air fryer. Look it. Num. There we are. Blooming perfect. I don't butter my bread because I have cheese on. Brown sauce on the bottom. Red sauce on the top. That's your butty. Sorted. And then with this, what I'll end up doing is while it's still hot, I will put some washing up liquid and water in there and pour it on for another minute. And then I can give it a swish out and, uh, and pour it away and it will get rid of all of that crap. Well, would you look at that? That is frost right there. Look. First frost of the year. Let's see if we can see. Oh, hello, me in bed. 2.6 degrees and 8 degrees inside. <laughs> yeah, heat is on. Let's wait for that to kick in. Well, we knew it was going to be a chilly night, but my goodness, it's um, it's 10 to 8 on Sunday. So I'm allowed to lie in, you know, two degrees at 10 to eight. Yeah, this has definitely been the coldest it's been for a very long time. Um, I thought I was being clever last night because I spent the night watching films in John's van. So I just jumped in my van and got in bed. I figured I'd get warm that way and it would and it'd be fine. But I think that's why it's gone so cold because I didn't get the temperature up last night before I went to bed, so... Hey ho. Anyway, I'm going to put this arm back in bed now because it's frezzing, the one that's holding my phone. <laughs> I'll tell you one thing I have found about building your own camper van. It is that it makes you much more confident if you need to fix anything. So I woke up this morning and this plinth, excuse the mess, and this plinth here had fallen off. So that literally is just screwed into the metal frame of my bed underneath so there's just a couple of screws holding that in and um and it had come off in the night because i think i'd only use small tech screws to make sure it didn't go all the way through at the back because of and uh, not wanting to catch my hand and things so obviously I need to do something about that so i have to I do have to ask John, I had, I've got a selection of screws and stuff, but the selection that I had wasn't quite good enough. And then I managed to find, where is it? There's one the same. One of these in John's little kit. So I have no idea what that's for. However, I screwed that end 
or that onto the screw at the back and that has kept it like a captive nut so that is now not budging so before i kind of wouldn't have even attempted it i'd have really gone and got john um and now he knows that if i ask him for help he brings me exactly what i ask for so if i say do you have anything that would stop a screw from coming out from the back if you can see it um we started off saying a bigger screw because obviously it's normally it would do that i think the vibrations have just made the metal of the bed made that hole bigger so the screw has just come out so this for me is a, is a way it needed a, a nut and a bolt instead so everything everything on the go at the minute so i've got my little tool kit i tell you what this thing is amazing because it literally has got everything or almost everything i need all the different screwdrivers it's got sockets um that's so my grandson yesterday he came uh, uh with the daughter and son-in-law came up uh, up to see us and uh, he sat there just turning them and of course since i put these little washers on i've obviously not tightened them up properly so they came loose so i needed to go around and do it again socket in there that works a treat so yeah so at the minute we're getting everything charged up we're off to the nec we're going to leave here later today um at the moment i've got my old powers at the back being charged up uh, my van is at 100 percent. so because of that everything that i can possibly charge up my ipad's been charged up all my osmos have been charged up everything that i've got that needs my laptop's being charged it's all doing it why i've got all of this free power because i mean who doesn't love a bit of free power and of course i'll still get some if it does if i do drop it enough i'll get the b2b kicking in as i'm driving anyway but the change now i am waking up most mornings even when it's overcast still in the mid mid to late 80s of my van even if i've had to put my heating on and everything so that's really good and before i know it it's topped back up again so the changes going from parallel to series has made a massive difference to how much power i am getting in because you can see on the app you see the power that is hitting the solar panel and then what that victron uh mppt is doing with it and you can see it's boosting it a lot of the time it's like i think we're at about 3.8 times the power that comes in from the panel is what you get going out to your batteries banging mate banging anyway i'm living in a tip at the minute but i have got my laptop out so anti-money laundering regulations never ever end ever And we're off. So John had to do some uh, parcel deliveries or returns before uh, we set off for the NEC. And um, I've dragged my feet a little bit getting ready to leave. So we're going to meet Aldi for a very quick... We're not going to do what we did last time. Last time we spent a lot of money buying quick and easy food. You know, the kind of thing that you can just grab and go. And we never did it. I mean, we might have had a little bit of breakfast stuff in. But we never really did much grabbing and going with any with anything. So, uh, yeah, ended up wasting a ton of food. Uh, so this time, we're not doing anything like that, but I do need some drinks. So uh, I'll be getting some some pop. I mean, I do love Aldi because I like all the fake, the fake drinks, like the um, Professor Pepe and the Fruit Twist, which is just like the... Um, phantom fruit twist and the fact that you can get six cans for 199 is good or it's 85p for a two litre bottle you know normally I'll, I'll go for cans in summer and get the bottles in winter because in in winter if i keep the bottles in the front of my van i don't need to worry about keeping them in the fridge because uh, it normally gets nice and cold overnight in the front of my van so it's a whole different level of cost saving coming in there yeah exciting exciting peopley but exciting so all of you guys who were kind enough to uh, leave me messages saying if you go to the NEC and you see me, you'll come and say hi. Um, I'll make sure I eat before I leave, yeah? <laughs> Just to make sure that there'll be no hungry mandy. No mangry allowed uh, at, the, at the NEC. Hello and welcome to the motorhome and... What's it called again? It's the motor to the motorhome and caravan show 2023. This is autumn 2023, and you know because I'm filming it right now, and I've got a jumper on, and it's October. Uh, but I've decided to have a bit of a thing. We've been talking because obviously we talk with our friends. It's me, I, and this one. Your friend now? No, oh. you're my well, you're my bestest friend. Oh. Um, and uh, we're talking to other people about like 
what the focus is going to be while walking around the caravan, motorhome and caravan, motorhome and caravan show. Terrible. So what their focus is going to be. So, you know, it's like there's loads of bits of things. John's going to do something to do with the series he's doing over on his channel. Mine's going to be food. What food can you buy while you're here? Whether it's to eat it here or take it somewhere else. That's my focus. And I start off with getting, come on, trusty assistant, a Hello Fresh bag. Whoop, whoop, whoop. So, do you know that they will deliver to campsites and locations? They just need three days' lead time to get the food to you. That's interesting. Good morning. How nice it is to be parked up right by the side of Birmingham Airport when we left the uh, show yesterday. Didn't do as much as I thought I was going to do yesterday. Honestly, I'm married to a child. We ended up just having a bit of a recce around yesterday. It was busy for a Tuesday and uh, then we decided we were going to come back. Um, we had a little bit of a, somebody had left their lights on in a vehicle, so needed a jump start issue. I will not say who that is. Uh, but, uh, <laughs> so we ended up leaving a little bit earlier, but it was a lovely day yesterday. So I've got some ideas for my food thing. There's not as many food stalls that I thought there was going to be, or like there were um, in, in February, because it just seems to be the main eateries where you eat there. So I'll have to, uh, I'll just have to check and see what it's like today and go around. But yeah, loads of little things. So we're going to divide and conquer. John's got some things to film. I've got some things to film. And I need to try and see if I can find another a replacement jacket for this one because I've got like four rips in it. And um, yeah, it's probably seen better days. So that's it. I've got a co coffee waiting for the, me on the side and we're all going to get going in a little bit so we can get in nice and early. What we tend to do is we just leave the pub early get parked together in the NEC and then we just chill and get coffees and stuff like that there but you know me coffee first so in we go now the first thing we came across was a cheese wedge company and I really like this because they have all the cheese out cheese is supposed to be eaten at room temperature everyone it's not in the fridge but they had the most amazing selection of unusual flavoured cheeses so that caught my attention straight away so I have started with my search for foodie stalls it's going to be very expensive if I end up buying in every single one. They have a big old picnic area where you can bring your own food. All the eateries around the outside sell cakes that you can eat there, which is wonderful. The toffee vodka was one of the nicest toffee vodkas I have ever had. It was literally like a hot hug in a mug. So I had to buy myself a small one of those. It was amazing. And probably one of the cheapest things I bought from the whole place. This is where we got some burgers from, with amazing burgers. And we found the Great British Cheese Company again. We've still got cheese left over from the last show we went to, so we didn't need to buy any more. However, they also have amazing cheeses, and their flagship cheddar is my absolute favourite. So it's half past ten, and already I've tried toffee vodka and six different types of cheese. I like it. Now, thankfully, I've got John to look after me today. <laughs> There's loads of places around the outside of the NEC, but our favourite was in the atrium. We absolutely love the Cornish Pasty Company. It's one of the most reasonable price things and you could get coffee, cake and a pasty. There's also the Italian Bistro where they have a great selection of pizzas and Italian beers. The Flapjackery, the most amazing flapjacks. I bought a Cherry Bakewell one for John and he absolutely loved it. Then we found the most amazing selection of rum. Hello, this is Ben. Does everyone remember Ben? And when I got really excited about my tickets to Riyadh and uh, Ben had seen me parked up outside and Ben and Lisa <laughs> decided that they were going to give me my ticket to go in to see Riyadh and I did and thank you so much. No, you're more than welcome and, and it was brilliant. great to see go to the person. Yeah, and they got to watch all the videos as well. Exactly. So, you know, winner, winner, Riyadh stuff for dinner. For dinner. Whatever, <laughs> Afghanistani food for dinner. Then we found the Flavours Brownie. This has got the biggest selection of sweet stuff. Cakes, baklava, uh, nuts, all sorts of things. But they also have savoury stuff. They had pulled pork roll, chicken rolls, all sorts of beautiful things. And you had the standard eateries around the outside. There was about 10 different kinds of these, all selling the same food. And they're all very, very popular. And then, of course, I found the gin. Oh, my goodness. The selection of flavours that were here and the different mixes that you can have with them are utterly utterly amazing so you know but yeah i ended up buying gingerbread and stinging nettle it was absolutely amazing 
So this is my little foodie haul from before. Got a Cherry Bakewell Flapjack from Flapjackery. Toffee Vodka, which is amazing. Gingerbread Gin. Look at this. Stinging Nettle Gin. That, with sparkling water, is amazing. Um, <laughs> Brussels Sprout Bacon. John still doesn't like the idea of that. Garlic and Parsley Cheese. That literally tastes like garlic bread. And cider and apple was lovely and sweet, so I can do something with all of those. And then these bad boys, honey roasted cashew nuts. But oh my goodness. So After such a long day, as soon as we got to our park up and the rain came down, we decided we were just going to chill for the evening, so we did. It is exhausting doing the NEC, although we do absolutely love it. It's uh, full on just of walking around for all the things you get to see. But I wouldn't miss it. It is a really, really good event. So for now, I'm going to leave this video here and you can watch the rain battering my windscreen. So thank you very, very much for watching, folks. And I will catch you on my next video. So take care, guys. Bye.